I've been freelancing for over four years, and if you ask me today what are the three most important parts of running a successful freelance operation, I would tell you landing clients, getting paid by those clients, and not getting sued by crazy clients. Hello Bonsai is a tool that I've used for the past three years, and it is something that's helped me accomplish all three of these things and has made my life way easier. So today I'm going to break down this tool and show you how it can help you as a freelancer. All right, welcome to Hello Bonsai. Now, Bonsai has been part of my business for years now. This is a tool that I have used every single day to do a number of different things in my agency. It's helped me automate a lot of my processes, and most importantly, it's helped me make sure that, legally speaking, I'm in a good spot and I'm not liable to get sued by my clients. Now, this is something that we don't think about a lot of times as a freelancer, whether you're a designer, um, a marketer, doesn't matter what you're doing. We need to make sure that we have ourselves covered because as a solo freelancer, nobody else is going to check these things for us. And so I'm going to show you how Bonsai has helped keep me safe and also help me be more efficient in my business. Now, I do want to mention beforehand that I am an affiliate for Bonsai. Uh, but with that said, this is something that I don't do often on my channel, but this is a tool that I swear by. It's something that I've used for years now. And I wouldn't recommend this unless I truly felt like it was going to be a game changer for your business. So a brief overview of Bonsai. Essentially what Bonsai does is it's your all-in-one hub for all things that you might need as far as proposals, contracts, invoices. It works as a client CRM. You can track your time and your tasks. Um, you can use it for automations, your accounting, literally and anything that you can think of. It's basically like having all of it in one single dashboard. So without wasting any more time, I'm going to dive right into my dashboard here. And I just want to walk you through how it looks, how I'm using it, and how my agency is using this to scale our business and, and to get paid. And I also want to break down a couple of my favorite parts that I think are going to be total game changers for you and your business. <clears throat> So the first thing that you're going to see when we pull up our Bonsai dashboard is our project timeline. And this is one of my favorite features because it gives me a very brief overview of what to expect in the past and coming weeks. And so you can see here, it's going to give me a list of all of my ongoing projects. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that it has a limit to these projects. So it's not showing all of them right here, but I love to set my recurring projects or my monthly ones. And so I can see who has already paid me this month, who still needs to pay me or has an outstanding invoice or contract. And then it also shows me upcoming invoices and how much those are worth. It's gonna give you a really good overview of everything that's going on in the month. And this is a great way just to um, kind of check in on your projects and make sure that nothing is being forgotten. Now, as I scroll down, the next thing that you're gonna notice is our income and expenses overview. Now, I love this. You're able to set the date range um, to basically anything that you want. And this is going to give you an, an overview of what's paid and pending, what is outstanding, um, and then it gives you the opportunity to track also your overdue invoices or bills, and then other income where you can actually input manually other income that you have, and so you can put everything all into one place. Now, for me, I only use Bonsai for my agency, so all of our web design and SEO projects, um, all of my other sources of income, whether that's my course income or affiliate stuff, um, that is not done through Bonsai. I kind of keep all of those separate. But what you're seeing here is all of my ongoing projects, all of my clients. And again, I love to get this brief overview. This is something that I'll try to log into at, at least once every day or every two days just to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Now, as we scroll down a little bit more, you've got a place to track your tasks and your time as well. These are both features that I don't use as much because I'm not working on an hourly base. We're, we're typically working more uh, like on a per project basis or on monthly retainers. But these are awesome tools that I would recommend you look into, um, especially if you're a designer that's tracking by the hour. Um, you're able to track your time and then put that um, data into the specific project that you're working on. And it's just a great reference for you. So moving on, the next thing that I want to cover is over here on the right side, you've got your activity bar. Now, without sharing too much information on my clients or the activity of my clients, um, the thing that I love about this bar is it's going to show you 
basically everything that's going on like that day and in the previous days. And so it's going to show you um, when you have sent out a proposal or an agreement, it's going to show you if they've opened that. And then it's also going to notify you when they've signed it. This is also a great place to track your reminders. You can have Bonsai auto remind people about invoices that are unpaid. And it's a great way to kind of get, again, a brief overview right here from the dashboard on everything that's going on in the month, your overall income and expenses, and then your activity that you can check and make sure that everything is up to speed and that you're not forgetting anything. So next what I want to do is cover briefly our clients tab here. Now the clients tab is really awesome because this is where kind of your CRM comes into play. Um, what you're able to do is create a client right here and it's going to ask you for name, contact name, and email. And as you get into these clients, which I'm going to use a sample client here that I put together earlier today, it's going to show you everything that you need to know to manage the projects and the invoices of this specific client. So you're going to see that um, it has all the contact information here, and then you've got a place here to add a project. So what you can do is you can just um, create, let's just say, a test project. And within that project, you are going to be able to track everything from your invoices, any documents, which include proposals, contracts, forms, all of your time tracking, your expenses, um, any notes on this project. And these projects are the things that are going to show up on your dashboard. And so I love having everything in one single place. Um, it makes it really easy when I know I'm working on a specific project that day. I'm going to open this up and I've got everything all in one place um, so I can record things, keep things organized, and I can let my team in on this. And so they can also have access to all the information that they might need to manage a project. So getting more specifically into proposals, contracts, and invoices, because these are obviously very important and essential parts of being a freelancer, right? We, we need to make sure that uh, that we can land clients, that we can sign clients to a contract or an agreement, and then we get paid by them. And so when we are in our proposals here, you can see when you click new proposal, it's going to give you a bunch of different proposal templates. And one of the, the best parts about these, and let's just click on um, one of these generic templates for now. One of the best parts about these is they're interactive proposals and so they give people the ability to click and select which different services they approve of. And so you can see here as I scroll down, we've got your fee structure which is single option, packages or multi-select. I'm gonna go ahead and click multi-select and you can see here that you're going to be able to add, let's type in maybe service number one and then you can add a different option which is going to include service number two and you can give these titles and then what that's going to do is when you send this proposal to your client they're going to be able to click and select and highlight the one that they want and then they're going to be able to, to click and approve of that proposal and so it's a really great way to give different options know exactly what it is that your client wants to move forward on and then basically everything else within this proposal is fully editable. And so you can add your overview and goals, your timeline. Um, they've got a couple other sections that are, are, they just come with the template, which are additional services and why us. And then you can design the, uh, the style and the background images of these as well. And so a really powerful proposal tool. Um, one of my favorite parts that comes with all of these, whether it's proposals, contracts, or invoices, is you can track the opens. And so if a client receives it and doesn't open the proposal, you're gonna be notified of that in your activity bar on the homepage or on the dashboard. And you're going to be able to follow up and say, hey, I noticed that you didn't yet open the proposal. And so this is a great way just to stay on top of all of your client interactions and make sure that nothing gets left behind or falls through the cracks. So going back to our dashboard, we're gonna to go to contracts now. Oh, and actually one thing I will mention with both proposals and contracts is you can reuse, like you can create and then reuse templates. And this is gonna be really, really beneficial within our contract section. And so you're gonna see, I'm gonna click new contracts and you can choose your template. They've got one that's custom and completely editable. And then you also are going to be able to select here at the top any agreements that you've already created and saved as templates. And so we've got our official website agreement and then our SEO agreement. Let's just click website agreement and we're gonna select our client Sweetums and then it pulls up our project, which we already created, which is our test project. 
and I'm going to click create contract. Now, the nice part about these contracts that I have created is these were based off of the original bonsai templates that they provided. And then I've just slowly customized them and improved them over time. And so you can see that we're outlining work and payment. We're outlining, you know, any non-solicitation representations, a lot of legal jargon that we may not necessarily understand. But Bonza is going to throw this in there just as a default to make sure that we are covered legally and we're not liable to lawsuits. Now, the most important part about these contracts or this contract feature is you can send these via email and they can be e-signed right there in the email. So a client can type in their name and that makes them legally binding. And so um, you're going to have a list of all of your contracts that have been signed here in Bonsai. And so if you have to reference those or for whatever reason you need to go back and, and use those if a client is claiming that uh, either you didn't deliver something that was promised or whatever it might be, you've got yourself covered because you have a stockpile of all of your signed agreements and everything that they agreed to before they signed it. Now moving on to invoices. Um, invoices obviously are going to be a really important part of your business because if you don't send invoices, you're not going to get paid. And so I'm gonna click new invoice here. We're gonna select our client again. And one thing that I love about invoices is you have a couple different options. You can send one-time invoices. You can send recurring invoices, which means that those are automatically going to get sent every month, but your client has to manually pay those. And then the third option is recurring auto payment, which means that your client puts in their form of payment, whether that's a credit card, PayPal, um, bank, ACH, whatever it is, and then it's going to auto charge them or auto bill them every single month on the same day. And so this is most of the time what I like to use, especially with our SEO campaigns. So I don't have to worry about checking in every month and manually sending or updating one-time agreements and I want to make sure that our clients are just getting auto billed so I don't have to wait for them to pay manually. So this recurring auto payment is a great way to go. And so you can select if you want this to um, auto bill every two weeks, every week, every month, every year. And then it says invoice until either a specific date or I manually stop it. You're going to create your invoice and that is going to then give you the ability to create a name. It's already got all of your client information in there. And then you're just going to have to basically type in the item or the service name, the units, and the rate, which in this case, let's just say it is a $500 rate and item number one. And just like that, it is going to add you know, any discount or tax that you want to specify. You're going to be able to add in any expenses that your client needs to cover as well. And then you can specify the late fee, any notes, attachments, and then you can go ahead and send this out. And again, once they put in their payment information for this specific type of invoice, it's going to auto bill them at that same time every single month. One other note that I like to make on invoices is Bonsai gives your clients a ton of different ways to log in and pay, whether that's credit or debit, PayPal, um, they connect can connect their bank. They can do a lot of different things. It also gives them or gives you the ability to add notes where they can pay you via Venmo or they can also write you a check. And so I love that it gives you a lot of different options to collect payment. And um, if people send you a check or do Venmo, you can just manually um, select that uh, this invoice has been paid and then that's going to show up on your dashboard and it will take note of that. All right, so going back to our dashboard, there are just a few more things that I wanna talk about. We're going to skip time tracking and tasks because those are fairly straightforward. But the one other thing that I really enjoy is the accounting section, which this is something that uh, Bonsai is constantly updating and improving. But this is a more detailed overview of your earnings, your expenses, your profit, other income. And you can see here below this, it gives you the ability to type in expenses or income. And expenses is something that just recently we are utilizing within Bonsai where we can track all of our expenses, what we're paying our contractors, um, any other like software fees that are recurring every month, we can create those. And so it auto, you know, it auto generates those every single month. So we can track those ongoing expenses. And then in our overview or our accounting overview, it's going to show us both uh, what, what is paid, then our expenses, and then our profit after that. And so 
this is a really great way to kind of track things and just get a better overview. This is also going to be super useful for us come tax season because we've got a really good accounting of everything that went out, everything that came in. And um, on that note, Bonsai does have an upgrade that you can pay for that they are gonna give you all of your tax forms. This is not something that I've done because I pay for my own accountant. Um, but as far as I know, Bonsai does a pretty good job at organizing and delivering everything that you need for your taxes. So at the end of the day, um, Bonsai has been such a huge game changer for our agency. I love being able to track everything all in one place. Um, even since I started Bonsai, there have been so many massive updates made that have solved pain points that I had before. And so without a doubt, I would highly recommend using Hello Bonsai for all things proposals, contracts, and invoices. As far as pricing, um, I'm pretty sure the first plan starts at about 20 bucks a month. And while that might seem like a lot for some of you to have all of these tools in one suite like this for 20 bucks a month, it's absolutely a no-brainer. And so um, I would highly recommend clicking the link below and diving into a free trial. You can start playing around with things, see if it's going to be a good fit for your business. But if you're anything like me, you're going to find that the time and the money that it saves you in the long run is going to be well worth that small monthly fee. And I can promise you that just like it's done for me, it's going to help you streamline things, it's gonna help you scale your business, and it's going to become such a huge asset for you. And I hope that at one day you can look back and say, hey, I'm grateful for that video that Peyton posted because Bonsai has become an asset for our business as well. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and we will catch you in the next one.